Greg Farrell, you broke the story. Just give us the parameters. Who exactly is being investigated? What exactly is being investigated? Well, what our story shows is that uh, the special counsel, Robert Mueller, is taking a broad view, an expansive view of his mandate. He's not looking just at transactions in the last year or two, but he's going back at least a decade to uh, the, uh, the sale of a, uh, a Palm Beach mansion by Donald Trump to a Russian oligarch in 2008. He's looking at a bunch of a lot of Russian money, Russian investors who bought properties in Trump buildings in New York and elsewhere over a multi-year period. So this is a, uh, a deep dive into uh, the president's history with Russia. Now we know from past experiences that Mueller doesn't seem to mind broadening investigations. So we shouldn't read too much into this. It may just be that he is being very thorough in his investigations. Is that correct? Yes, I, I think that's quite correct. He is being thorough. Uh, he, he is not the type to go on a fishing expedition beyond what he's been told to do. He's very much a by-the-book guy. Uh, at the same time, there will be a no-stone-unturned kind of approach. Greg Farrell, I just want to reiterate that your story is telling us that Robert Mueller, the special counsel, is expanding the probe to Trump's business transactions. Now, clearly yesterday, in an interview with the New York Times, President Trump either didn't know this or wasn't willing to admit this. But he did say that even if there were a broader investigation, it would turn up nothing because he has had no dealings with Russians that weren't above board. Yes, the president's been consistent about that, that uh, he has uh, talked that he has had some uh, investments from Russians into Trump, not the other way, and that everything, there's nothing there to find. So uh, as, as Mueller keeps going, if the president is correct, then he won't find anything.